In this training video, we're going to look at adding cost for a cost resource. So for task five, a consultant's been added for the design of the job packs. But if we go look at the resource sheet view, the consultant has no cost against the cost resource. So there's no cost being put in against this consultant. Now this is when project views become quite important within Microsoft Project. So there's no way now I can get a cost put against this consultant and that's going to be the same for any cost type of resource. But I can do it not through resource sheet view but through another view. So here's the consultant, no cost. And I'm just going to go to the cost table first. So I'm going to go back to the Gantt chart. I'm just going to review the cost table against the tables cost. So right now we can see under advertising there's a 1640 cost for the total of advertising and at the moment design job packs has a 720 pound cost which is against the HR manager present and that's against the rate applied to the HR manager. Well let's say the consultant charges us £1,500 for helping with the design of the job packs. So that's going to hugely increase advertising, but it's also going to hugely increase the cost of the design job packs. So this is what we're about to do now by adding cost for the cost resource, which is a consultant in this example. So I'm going to change the table view back to entry. Now to do this, we change views I tend to change views to the task tab to task usage. So it's the usage of the task. So it's, I'm going to go to task usage. Now for the design job pack, which is this task here, here's a consultant, but I can now assign a cost to this consultant in task usage view. And I can double click and here I can add a cost. So here's the cost we're going to put in 1,500. That's what the charge is. Click OK. And if I go back and change my views, go to Gantt chart view first, I can now see a cost against the consultant. So when you add a cost resource, the cost goes on the Gantt chart against that cost resource. So I can see the consultant cost, me, cost us £1,500 in this example. Well, if I go back to the table view now for cost table, I can now clearly see that the design job packs has increased hugely from the 720 and the advertising has changed. And that would have also affected the, the total cost. So this is how you can manage cost resources and add in cost for a cost resource through task usage view and change the table back but we can now see that the consultant has a cost and this couldn't have been put in through the resource sheet view which is the standard way we're putting in cost so we can still see there's no cost showing against the consultant so this so this is when project gets uh, it gets important to know some of the views so a cost resource now I added the cost to the cost resource and I'll go to task usage view and then if I double click the consultant there's the £1,500 I put in. If I say for example if, if this was incorrect and it was £2,500 quickly update it £2,500 can chart shows the update cost table will show the impact on cost. And there we go, it's updated itself again. So this now completes the training video on using cost resources, but also being able to add cost for a cost resource using the task usage view. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.